reactions of nitric acid the first part that we are doing is preparation of nitric acid okay now any nitrate salt with sulfuric acid that is concentrated sulfuric acid is going to give you its respective sulfate salt along with nitric acid okay so the first example that we are taking is zinc nitrate okay with concentrated sulfuric acid okay so h will go with no3 so this part is going to become hno3 okay that's nitric acid now the zn part will go with so4 that is sulfate part okay so this is going to become zinc sulfate whose formula will be zn so4 okay now balancing of this equation is very simple we have here 2h okay so i can multiply these by 2 you can see even the nitrate over here gets doubled which is over here no3 twice okay so the equation is balanced and the second equation we are having instead of zinc nitrate we are having copper nitrate okay so the respective salt is copper sulfate that is cuso4 okay and obviously nitric acid is hno3 the balancing of the equation is very similar to the previous one you just have to write 2 over here okay now the next part is laboratory preparation of nitric acids all right now here we are going to have two different set of reactions depending upon what temperature we are using okay if you are using low temperature that is the temperature maintained is below 200 degrees celsius okay how this temperature will be maintained when you are not heating very strongly okay this is just approximate judgment that you can make you don't heat it very strongly okay so the temperature maintained for this reaction is below 200 degrees celsius okay so for preparation of nitric acid this is going to be the preferred temperature okay we'll see the reasons why we are doing it okay that we'll see later now i'll just come to the reaction the substance starting substances that we are using are potassium nitrate and sulfuric acids okay when the temperature is below 200 degrees celsius out of these h2so4 okay you can see here there are two hydrogen atoms over here which i can show like this only one key will replace this one h so this is going to give us potassium hydrogen sulfate okay one h will remain this h will become k so it is going to become khso4 all right now one h is there this h goes with no3 so this is going to become hno3 okay and the equation is already balanced now in the second part if the temperature is more than 200 degrees celsius okay in this case both of these h will get replaced so instead of getting khso4 we are going to get over here k2so4 okay and obviously nitric acid is going to be HNO3. Okay, you can balance this equation. Okay, here H2 is there, so I can multiply these with two. Also K2, and this is also twice, so I'll have to multiply these with two, and the equation is balanced. Now, what are the reason why we are not using this higher temperature? Okay, we are having a couple of reasons for this. The first thing is potassium sulfate that is produced. this forms a very hard crust and it is very difficult to remove from the apparatus once the re once the reaction is over that's the first reason second thing is nitric acid is not very stable to heat so if the temperature is higher this nitric acid also will decompose to give you water nitrogen dioxide and other products so we are going to get much less amount of nitric acid and the third thing obviously okay is the wastage of fuel because if we use higher temperature obviously more fuel will get used up so these are the reactions that you can just make a note of it next part is manufacture of nitric acid by oswald's process okay so this is going to be the large scale manufacturing of nitric acid that is industrial process okay the reactants that are used over here are pure and dry ammonia which is one volume 
and air that is going to be 10 volumes okay so here we are not using pure oxygen okay here we are using air which is going to contain 20 percent of oxygen okay the catalyst that is used for oxidation of ammonia okay that is going to be catalytic oxidation of ammonia this is going to be platinum so the first step okay is going to be very important that's catalytic oxidation of ammonia ammonia combines with oxygen with platinum being used as catalyst temperature that's maintained eight, uh, 700 to 800 degrees celsius this is going to form nitric oxide that's NO and plus H2O okay it's slightly exothermic reaction okay now we have to balance these equations the first thing is here we are having three hydrogens okay and here there are two hydrogen atoms so to balance this I'll multiply these with two and I'll multiply these with three this is going to make two nitrogen I'll multiply this with two now you can see here on the left side oxygen is an even number because here two is there so whatever number you multiply over here it will get multiplied by two it is always going to remain an even number now here on the right hand side you are having oxygen as an odd number because here three is there so I need to make this even so I will just double everything whatever I have done so far so I am going to make this four I am going to make this six okay and I am going to make this four okay so so far whatever we had balanced that gets balanced this also makes oxygen an even number so now you can count here oxygen is 4 plus 6 that is 10 now oxygen can be easily balanced you can just simply multiply these with 5 and the equation is balanced so we are having here 4 HNO3 uh, sorry 4 NH3 plus 5 O2 gives us 4 NO and 6 H2O okay now the second step that is there over here that's these nitric oxide is converted into nitrogen dioxide this equation is very simple so the next step is oxidation of nitric oxide NO2 nitrogen dioxide that is NO2 okay here the temperature maintained for this reaction is 50 degrees Celsius now the equation is easy to balance here oxygen you can see here is an odd number you simply multiply these with two this makes two nitrogen and you multiply this with two and this equation is also balanced the last step okay that is absorption of nitrogen dioxide in water to give you nitric acids so here NO2 is there plus water plus oxygen okay this is going to give us HNO3 alright so the balancing of this equation first thing is I'll multiply this with two now again over here this is going to leave this oxygen on the left side to be an odd number so I'll have to double this this is going to make four hydrogen so I'll have to make this four okay this also makes four n so I'll have to multiply these by four you can check out for oxygen this is four to the eight plus two ten plus two twelve and here it is four threes are 12 okay you can just copy down this equation chemical properties of nitric acid first thing is stability okay pure nitric acid is not a very stable compound okay so on its own even on standing it is going to decompose so the reaction is just the reverse of the previous reaction that we have done so this is going to decompose back into H2O nitrogen dioxide is NO2 and oxygen is going to be O2 so the reaction balancing will be same okay this is going to be 4 on this side 4 on this side and 2H2O okay now what is the importance of this reaction here nitric acid is not a very stable compound this releases nitrogen dioxide now this nitrogen dioxide that is there that is evolved okay it remains dissolved in the acid that is present in the form of solution so it gets dissolved in it 
and the nitrogen dioxide itself the color is reddish brown so when that nitrogen dioxide gets dissolved in that particular solution of nitric acids it gives it a yellowish brown color so from the color of the nitric acid you can come to know that how long it is stored for if it is yellowish in color it means that particular acid has been stored for a long time because it has got decomposed to nitrogen dioxide and that gives its its yellowish color just copy down the equation